um, Amager. They already played beforehand and we have seen them playing against the Connecticut Mackers with a 8-0 victory and later on with a 7-0 against the um, Switzerland ladies from Helvetia. Now we're starting in the match now. We see here the blue team Akaren against uh, the Danish team Amager in white. And uh, we're expecting here quite offensive play from the Norwegian ladies as we are used to see that while we are seeing a very compactive, super like super proper defense from the Danish girl. Let's see who's going to win here, offense or defense. Uh, nevertheless, we are starting here with the Norwegian girls with the first attacks here. And uh, so far we have a lot of um, like bring the ball to the surface with some scrums. And this takes, of course, time from the clock. Really going fast. And the scrum on the surface. We do not see who is now having the ball. And Akaren going. Here we see the first good opportunity from number seven here. With the chance to score quickly, it was better than teal. She started here with the first good movement, or the first good move for the Norwegian ladies. This was quite nice attacking here. She had a fast break coming fast. This is what we're expecting to see from the Norwegian ladies a lot. Many of these ladies won uh, the World Championship in Graz this year. So we have super experienced players. Um, on the other, ha other hand, we have the Danish team. I also see a lot of names. I uh, I've also seen and recognized during the World Championship, so here are a lot of well-experienced players in the water here. So far we see two minutes played, 0-0, zero, zero. we had the first chance on the Norwegian side for Akaren. Nevertheless, the score is zero, 0-0. Zero. And now we see here, as you can see, a, a quite active movement from number 11, the captain, uh, Marianne Heidem from, from Amaga. She was like pushing a bit the defender away. For my personal feeling, it was a bit active here. Nevertheless, the referees let them play. No call. And here we see the yeah. fast counter attack and pass for number two. Now. And Marie Breitdijk here with the best second good chance here so far. But well and defended by Amager. Okay. It's a tough okay. match like Akaren won last year. The Champions Cup, if I remember right. So they're here also be coming back to, let's say, re-win the title. They brought it here to bring it home again. On the other hand, we have Amargar, the girls, they... I remember they just arrived here last year with just nine players. I don't know if the list is correct so far. It looks like they don't have so much more ladies brought mm -hmm. than last year. Super tough here to have so less substitutions, to have not that much time on the bench to breathe, to recover. Of course, you can start here super nice in the, in the first half, but on a long-term like long term perspective, in the second half, it will show how this Dominera is uh, yeah, working and holding this, this pressure, this, this tough level here. You see here the different pattern, Amaga, while Amaga is trying here to keep the ball in the corner a bit more, keeping the ball possession. You can really see how quick um, the ladies from Akaren trying to get close to the goal and to score even here with a lot of passes, a lot of fast swimmings and here even the next good chance with a pass on the other side, 25 is doing this but no goal, well defended by Amager. well defended so far and now an attack from number 9 and they still keep the pressure and keep the ball although they are close to the basket now it's well defended and number 25 here 25, it might be i don't know what, what you think about it but the goalkeeper here from amager is like holding a bit the wall it's like she she transferring the pressure from the attack into the wall in the offense line when they have the time to breathe after that with their this uh, like timeout you see how strong and massive they are how timeout you see how strong and massive they are how powerful they could be just imagine these players would have more like a full substitutions, set. more players in the pool. Yeah. And here we see the referee coming to the surface, pointing to the Norwegian girl. We see a three throw against 
I cut in, but no time penalty. So it was just a proper warning. She's walking through the bench. It was just a verbal warning without any time penalty so far. The time penalty would be nice for Amagal here to bring them back in the spot. But you see but here... it wouldn't totally change the game. Yeah. The outcome. Definitely. Definitely. So it would be, would be great to see that. At least, still, the girls are here in the water with eight players. And now trying bring the be more ball fair. back to the bottom but actually is now at the surface a lot of strumming with a full set of Amagar this game would be a different question and a different outcome the pool size the game or what? would be different if Amagar would be like 12 ladies in the water like it this of course it depends always on the player you're bringing in the squad I've talked with, talk with other coaches that tell or players sometimes players preferring to play with a lower number than players but don't have any weak players within the squad of yeah. course the team is just such strong as the weakest player this is yeah. a like a usual quote you can find in team sports and here it is at least that we are that you have super super strong eight players here of course they're sometimes on a certain level they're running out of stamina and of brief and they're getting tired but you see what they can do of course if they could find four players on the same level it would be super super nice for them that would totally different yeah right. they would really appreciate it of course to have such players but I also know about or I'm aware about this lack of female players in, in Denmark or super engaged players of course there's a lot of effort here imagine the players the skirts are on both sides they have in the league some of them are also playing probably for the main league so in the mixed team league they go on for national camps they go on here to tournaments yeah. for Champions Cup etc etc so there's a Which lot of a time to be invested really in good sport. training but as you said, it's a really high time investment to be on that level and it's a question you can keep it over a long time and over a high number of people. Yep. So one, yeah, nearly two minutes left, one minute 48 seconds going and Akaren again attacking and close to the Amagar basket but they are not coming into the situation of making another goal. And even when it's going for 10 seconds or longer, the pressure from Akaran, the Amaga team is Clothed in the defense, yep. completely good. Here you see, for example, the defender is a bit holding the basket. This is also not allowed, but of course there was not not enough pressure here at the basket to say to call here another penalty. But here you need to be very careful about uh, how you defend here. Do not receive another penalty call. Nevertheless, it's 45 seconds left here. The score is 3-0 in favor of Akaren. Amaga with eight ladies here did so far. Super great chopper in the defense level. And Akaren here on the other side was also putting a lot of effort here in the oh, offense. No, it was at that's least in here the last another good double team passes here, and maybe this is was also a bit holding the basket here from the number from the Danish player. I'm not really sure if the hand here at the ring was just like uh, touching or if it was holding. But nevertheless, the referee here on the open side didn't call it, so they keep going. And uh, yeah, it's not a game changer at all because. The favor is still on the Akaran side. They are going to win this match. Six, seven, six seconds left. And uh, we have seen two goals from Christine Nergat. One by penalty and one out of the game. And to be honest, unfortunately, I don't remember the first one. But well played by Akaran here. They are making it right now to the semi-final. And uh, here we see number 19, Leider and her team. They are playing now tomorrow and up to the fifth place maybe maximum or fourth place they can be like I think in the final they are playing here so far we have seen in the round of the best three teams they are qualified so far I think the ladies from Orca the ladies from Angen and we see Akaran so these three teams are playing each other within the next two days to find out who will be the Champions Cup winner Amaga here with eight ladies. They're going playing tomorrow against. Uh, we need to fight out this, but they're also having some matches left. You will see it in the schedule. Please find the schedule on 
uwr24.de on this home page you can be uh, yeah you find a link to the champions cup and there you find it. on the results you can find a schedule with which can show you the upcoming matches of the remaining one and a half days next match next match who's gonna next be next game 35 Zero was now we had now the Akaren against Amaga with the Zero, and the next match will be the team from Italy Firenze against Zurich from Switzerland. Zurich is let's say the record champion in Switzerland. They won like I don't know if there was any other team in history winning the Swiss championship, and I don't and even in Firenze I think it's like a traditional champion and record champion. So, since I've started to watch the Champions Cup, I've never seen a different team than Firenze or Zurich. So both teams have been here many, many times and are super, super experienced. And um, let's see, they also have played many times against each other. So, always I remember to have here close, to have seen close matches. It will be Zurich in white and the team from Italy, Firenze in blue let's introduce you to the team i'm starting with the white team of Zurich. it will be number two hannes pischel three marcel vetter four anur Guroy. number five christian anna seven matthias duvour number nine patrick schumann 13 martin wernle nils de brun number 15 is the captain mark drexler 17 michael muller 18 dominic peter 24 uh, Xavier or score 43 54 wild bills Gianni number 7 Ferdinando Carano number 12 Ludovico Bacelli number 21 Mattia Garafa Number 23, Samuel Moschi. Number 25, Andrea Menekin. 26, Umberto Valle.